It's a brand new day, a brand new week, and a brand new life. Thanks be to God. Hi, my name is Brother Pio, and welcome to Repu Lections. A joyful Monday to all. How are you? How was your weekend? Did you go to church? In today's gospel, we would hear of how Jesus went to the synagogue on a Sabbath. And in the same place, the Pharisees were waiting for him to make a mistake in their eyes so that they can use it against him. Now, knowing the thoughts, Jesus riddled them with rhetorical such as, which is better, to heal or to destroy? Eventually, Jesus healed the man with the withered hand, which infuriated the Pharisees. Friends, the line that struck me most in today's gospel was that Jesus went to the synagogue. Jesus went to church. And you know why? Ask me why. It's because I've heard of many people who told me, Brother Pio, it's okay for me not to go to church. I'll just pray directly to God by myself anytime, anywhere. And you're right. It's good to pray to God directly, anytime, anywhere. In fact, Jesus prayed to the Father anytime, anywhere, when He's alone by Himself. And He went to church. Yes, Jesus went to church. Now, if Jesus, who is truly God and truly human, went to church, then what makes us think that we are exempted from going to church? Just imagine if someone asks you on a date and then tells you, um, can we do it online? Can, can, can we do it virtually? Do you think that relationship will progress? Maybe, maybe not. If it does, it's gonna be very hard. My friends, knowing our tendencies and our needs as humans, Jesus gave us a family, gave us a church to gather with regularly with Him. And that's why St. Paul encourages us not to give up on coming together. Now, one of the most common reasons why people don't want to come to church is that they say there are many hypocrites in church, there are many sinners in church, and they are right again. In fact, I am one of those sinners, and at times I act like a hypocrite. But here's the thing, I go to church not because I am holy, no, I'm far from it, but I go to church because I need a Savior who is holy, Jesus, who is the only one who can make me holy. My friends, at times we are like the Pharisees, just waiting for others, especially those who go to church, to make their next mistake so that we can pound it on them and we can justify why we are not going to church. But in the same way, just like the Pharisees, we allow the faults of others to blind us from our faults and from how blessed we are. That's why we miss out on God's visitation. Friends, God visits us each day. He is visiting you now. And who knows, it may be through that person whom you are waiting to commit his or her next mistake. Don't miss out on God's visitation today. Can we pray together? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of love, the gift of life, and the gift of this brand new week to be blessed and loved by you. Father, we are sorry for the times when we are blinded by our pride, when we focus on the faults of others and not seeing the love that is blocking our eyes, Lord, our very own faults. We are also sorry for the times when we miss out on your blessings and your visitation because we are too focused on finding faults in others. Father, teach us to be more like you, to be more like Jesus, who is forgiving, compassionate, and loving. And we pray for every brother and sister who's been discouraged by our actions, by our thoughts, by our words, and they don't want to come to church anymore. May you remind them that they are loved and they are the same as us, that we are all broken and we need you, Jesus, so that we can come together as a family to be transformed by your love and your grace. And all this we pray as we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you will have a blessed week spending time with God and His family. Come to church. 
In fact, let me invite you to come to the City Feast this coming Sunday at 3 p.m. at the Community Hub at the Docks. And together, as messy, broken people, let us journey with Jesus and towards Jesus. Take care and see you on the next Rip Elections.